Yeah, I think for him it was just a matter of getting healthy. He showed up with an injury we uh, didn't expect, and it, it took him for a while to get healthy. And I, I've seen constant improvement with him, and it seems to continue. Both the scholarship and the non-scholarship players, you've had a lot of success with the transfer portal uh, in, in the last year. Based on that success, do you, do you think about maybe portioning more players or, or working the portal a little bit more for guys that are more seasoned than maybe freshmen? Potentially. Um, there's going to, I think we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg with the transfer portal. There's going to be a lot of that. We, we definitely want people that fit us from a football standpoint and from a culture standpoint. Um, I love where the locker room is right now and would never want to upset that. Um, you know, it's going to be an interesting year because we're going to have a, a lot smaller signing class than normal uh, because of the change in eligibility years uh, through COVID. Uh, so we'll see where we fall with the number of freshmen and, and transfers this year. Do those disadvantages go away when you're working with the portal because guys are looking for fits that are schools and not necessarily a place to go? We'll see. We have a lot of advantages here. Um, have some uphill uh, battles to fight, but uh, again, I, I think when people come and see Nebraska and experience game day and see the fans here and get to know what Nebraska is all about, we got a great chance to get anybody that visits here. Quick more keys. You, USC obviously has a much different style of offense. Diedrich sort of had the same thing when he first got here. Does it take guys a little bit to sort of figure out the rhythm of, of your run game? And where do you think he's at in that process? Uh, I, I think you just improve with reps and you improve with game reps. And running backs are no different than anybody else. I, I was pleased with several of the backs uh, on Saturday. thought we made a step forward at that position group. Any understand about Adrian's performance last Saturday? Yeah, I thought he played a really good game. Um, made the throws he was supposed to make. Uh, made good decisions. Uh, we had the one ball on the ground, and and other than that, uh, he didn't miss much. Um, so that's what we've been seeing in practice, and I expect it to continue from him. Scott, in your day with those transfers, there weren't as many um, to, to lean on each other. Those guys, you know, uh, Marquise was talking about having Samori to help him. How, how have you seen that as their coach that they've been able to um, you know, benefit from having other guys in similar situations? Yeah, and you know, you're just more ready for everything that life and football throw at you when you're 21 years old instead of 18. I'm sure it helps those guys to have some peers that are, are new to the program too, but um, every one of those guys that transferred in did a great job of being mature and getting to work, um, training like a pro and learning the offense and defensive and special team schemes. So um, I think we picked some of the right guys and they're going to they're gonna play a big role this year. What have you seen from your offensive line? I thought we made a big step from week one to week two. Uh, still room for improvement, um, but uh, definitely thought they played a better game. You said you uh, got a look at Buffalo even before Saturday. I know they have a new coaching staff, but what uh, what sort of jumps out about them and sort of their MO? Well, their kids know how to win. Um, you know, they played in for a conference championship last year. I think they got talent. Uh, you know, I've watched their defense more than their offense. They, they've got good pass rushers, all-conference linebackers, good guys up front, and, and some fast guys in the back. Um, they're very sound in their scheme, very aggressive in their scheme. Um, and they look really well coached. They, you know, they look like world beaters in, in game one. So um, our guys are preparing and, and know we have a challenge on Saturday. We got to make good decisions back there. Um, I'm not the type of coach that's going to fire someone from a role if they make a mistake. Uh, but the mistakes have to have to quit. The one on Saturday was a little tough. If if that's a a bounce in in the open field, we want him to feel it. That that was probably not the right time to try to do that. Uh, but Cam gives us our best opportunity for a big play back there too. So we'll make that decision as we go forward. But I, I trust Cam. Yeah, I thought Logan did some good things. And, and again, the biggest thing for me was the, the moment didn't look too big for him. Uh, he looked ready for it and went out and executed the offense, uh, made some good plays with his arm and his legs. Does Buffalo give you some of the same stuff, uh, some of the same concerns that Illinois did because they, it's a new staff? I mean, you got the one game on film, but how much can you look that? Yeah, we have one game, uh, hopefully. Um, 
hopefully we can do a good job with that. But uh, you know, they got ahead in that game fast and did some things late in the game that they didn't do in the first 20 snaps. Uh, so it, it's going to be a little bit of a guessing game. But um, you know, I've uh, experienced a, a game with their defensive coordinator before. He did a really good job. They whipped us. Um, so uh, I know he's going to have the guys ready, and we're going to do our best to, to, to try to guess what kind of scheme they're going to be running. Yeah, um, it was a tough time for the country. I was in Berea, Ohio, had just gotten released by the Jets and picked up off waivers by the Cleveland Browns and uh, got up in the morning at a hotel to head into work and turned on the TV and and saw what what was happening. So it um, doesn't seem like it was 20 years ago. Um, you know, I'm really proud of uh, – Ora Garst and, and our team and the video they put out and have gotten a lot of good messages about that. Uh, he's really talented. Um, you know, having DJX on the team and being part of that was pretty special. So uh, it's something that should be remembered and honored. And um, our little token, uh, the little bit we can do to help honor it is, is worth doing. I didn't get to watch. I was in the office till about midnight last night, game planning. Um, so I didn't get to watch, and then looked at my phone and, and saw a bunch of messages about it. But KZ's like family. Um, he, he's family to me, and he went through something hard. And I'm glad to see him having some success again. He deserves it. I know we asked about Omar a lot, even when he's not playing, but he, he ends up playing more. And what, what are you starting to see from him as, as he sort of grows with the offense? Yeah, Omar's talented. It, it's just a matter of being out there, and when he's out there, he'll make plays. He's done a really good job of that uh, through fall camp, and uh, with Oliver down last week, uh, he got even more reps, and I thought he took advantage of it. And when he's out there, we're a better team. How have you seen uh, Cam respond this week to the kind of rough first couple of weeks for him? I don't think he's had a, a rough first couple of weeks. He's played really well on defense. Um, He's, he's had two bad plays. And if you look at any player on our team, they've had two bad plays in two games. Um, so I wouldn't characterize it as a rough start. Uh, we just got to make better decisions on punt return. Is Brock Mando out for any length of extended period of time? No, Brock had an illness, um, and it shouldn't be, shouldn't be long. Yeah, all those guys, uh, Oliver, Casey, um, Travis, um, they're all getting close. What, what have you seen from Teddy from Oscar that, that's allowed him to get on the field? I know he played a lot of young guys, but he in particular seems like he's come on pretty fast. Yeah, Teddy's had a really good camp. Um, you know, anytime you're an early enrollee, I think it gives you an advantage. And he got a lot of reps early. Um, and he's got a ton of potential. and. You're starting to see that shine through. He did a really good job in the off season, turning uh, turning his body into a guy that looks like he's been in college for four years already, and um, it won't be very long before he's helping us. So the more reps we can get, the the better we are. Well, when you get down to you know roster guys that are going to travel and get a chance to play are the guys that are helping on special teams. And um, Marquis done a great job on defense, but he's also you know, taking special teams seriously and contributing on that. And, and that's going to give him opportunities on defense. But he's another young guy with a, with a bright future.